It's not about finding fault in your brothers and sisters. It's not about finding fault in your politicians or your governments. It's not about finding fault in your Course in Miracle teachers or your Course in Miracle students. It's about overlooking the error entirely. The Holy Spirit doesn't want us to figure out what the problem is. He wants us to release this grievance that we've had in our mind, this belief in separation, and overlook the problem entirely. In fact, in A Course in Miracles, Jesus says that the Holy Spirit overlooks the defiled altar. He says, he says it really plainly. The Holy Spirit overlooks the defiled altar and looks to the light of the atonement. And the atonement is the correction. So the Holy Spirit's function is to overlook the error and see only the correction, the light of the correction. So we are not asked in divine providence to say, oh, there are still our problems. But in some or most cases, I get a quick answer to solve the problem. We're actually drawn to go into a state of mind that is so content, so fulfilled, so completely lit up that we no longer perceive problems at all. That's how high this goes. This isn't about trying to maintain your humanness and to get some divine rays shining on your humanness. This is about giving yourself over, your mind over to the divine light, over to the great rays. That's what revelation is, to let the light reveal itself to you. And, and when you bring the darkness to the light, the darkness disappears. And only light remains because only light ever was. Everything is light. Everything that God creates is pure light.